I'll go welcome to this tutorial series, and in this hopefully a short series, uh, I'm going to show you how to create a CAPTCHA system uh, for your own website. Now, there are two things you will need for this CAPTCHA system to work. You will need GD, as it's called, uh, installed on your server. Now, if you're using a paid server, you should already have this installed, so it should work, but I'm also going to show you how to uh, figure out if you do or don't have it. Um, you're obviously also going to need PHP. So if you go to just your local host or wherever your uh, your hosting is, if you go to Xamp and you load it up and you go to PHP info right there on the side and you want to scroll down and keep scrolling, where is it? Right there. Uh, if you find that you have this called GD on your server and it says GD support enabled. That means you can use GD and you can create your own capture system or you can work with images in general. So this is the capture system we're going to be making. So if I keep refreshing the page, it changes every time. Because what we do is we generate a random, uh, a random number and then we MD5 encrypt it. And then we use the substring function to take a small portion of the uh, encrypted value. So it's just random every time. Uh, it's a very effective method, and uh, I'm also going to show you how to uh, put it into your own forms. Uh, so uh, I guess we'll just get started. Now, on the index page here, all this is is just uh, displaying an image path, and the image, the uh, source for the image is the capture.php page. Uh, and if we go to the capture.php page, it's a fair amount of code, uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, and all it is is just a function, and then we're uh, just using the function right there. Uh, so if you try to right click and open image in a new tab, you get this uh, gobbledygook. Um, and uh, the reason being is this random crap up here is the image itself. So actually if you took that and put it into a file and you saved it as an image, I'm pretty sure it would actually show an image, which is kind of funny. Um, and this right here is because we're starting the session. Um, we're not starting the session at the correct time. Uh, which actually, we could fix that by just moving this, putting it up here. So, um, and I will, uh, we'll go through the entire process of uh, making this capture system. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just blank out the function completely blank out this function, everything inside of it. I'm just going to blank it out. So all we have is this. This is our entire code. Um, and so what we're doing here is we're just starting the session. And then right here we're just calling to our function. So it's going to run our function. So uh, that's just it. And then I'm going to leave the index page like this as well. So if we refresh our index page, we just have uh, a no image, um, little image thing, uh, displayed there. Um, so if we go to our capture page and uh, what we can do is we can start coding. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a variable and call it rand and what the rand variable it's just going to store a random value uh, using the rand function. Uh, now the ram rand function takes two parameters. The first parameter is the uh, value it's going to start at and the second is the value it's going to end at. Now, I'm just picking up to 99, or 999 rather. Uh, this can be anything. You could make it as, as big as you want. Uh, so that's entirely up to you. So if we just echo out the rand, so oh, it's not going to do anything there because we're trying to create an image. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, require, well, never mind. Uh, so if we just echoed out this rand, it would just generate, it would just give us a random value. Um, so that's that's all it's going to do. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable. We're going to call it pass. Actually, I'm just going to call it uh, value. And I'm going to set value equal to md5. So we're going to md5 encrypt the uh, rand value. So the value is going to be the MD5 encrypted value. Um, so what that's going to do is if you've seen an MD5 encryption string, 
uh, which you, if you've seen my other videos, you likely have. Um, and what it is, it's 32 characters long, just a bunch of random uh, you know, values, string, uh, just a random string. And uh, so it's completely random every time, or at least it appears random, uh, because it goes through algorithms and everything. Um, so we're just going to go to the next line. And uh, which actually, we're going to set this on the same line. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the substring function, so sub str, and that's how you uh, establish the substring function in PHP. And you also want to close off the substring at the end of our MD5 encryption. So the substring function takes, uh, I think it can take up to three parameters, um, but the... Uh, um, or uh, not up to three parameters, but it takes three parameters. Uh, the first parameter is uh, our value, which I'm actually going to encrypt this value right here. So we're just going to encrypt it just like that to uh, eliminate a little bit of space. So the first parameter it takes is the is our value that we're going to be. That's our our big string. So it's going to be our random value. The next parameter is the position of uh, of our string that we're going to be cutting. It's where we're going to start. So say we wanted to start eight characters in, we would say eight. Uh, so that would be the eighth character from the start. So I'm going to start it at ten. And the next parameter is the length of the string that you want to get. Uh, so I'm going to say eight characters. So our string is going to be, it's going to start at the tenth character, and it's going to go, it's going to be eight characters long. So that's what that's going to be. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to establish the width and the height of our image. Now, uh, the width and the height of the image is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, I'm just taking off my watch. Um, so I'm going to set it, the width to 150 and the height to, I'm going to go with 30, I think that's what it was before. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, what I'm going to do, you don't necessarily have to do this, it'll just save you time in the end. Well, actually you kind of do have to do it, never mind, uh, you have to do this. Um, I'm just going to create a couple of random variables, and we're going to call the first one black equals and what the black variable is going to hold is it's going to hold the, um, 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 the the image color. So the uh, the code for this is uh, image, which doesn't have to be caps. Image color allocate. So it's just like that. Oh, I forgot the e. You want to make sure you spell everything right. So it's image right there, and then color, and then allocate and then parentheses. Now this takes four parameters. The first parameter is the image, which we have not created yet because I forgot to create that. The first parameter is the image. The second parameter, third and the fourth, um, are hexadecimal values. So what the values are for, it's for the, well not hexadecimal values, sorry, it's the red, green, blue, the RGB color values for the color. Now black is just 0, 0, and 0. So each value, there's the red, and then the green, and then the blue. So RGB, uh, it's in that order, and if you don't put it in that order, it'll mess up and give you a different color. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go image, is we're going to create our image. So to create our image, we want to say uh, image create, and then parentheses and a semicolon. Uh, now the image create function takes uh, two parameters. Uh, it's the width and the height in that order. So we just want to say dollar sign width. And the reason we put this, these two values into variables is to make it easier to change later. So I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, we've started on our, uh, our uh, capture creation. And in the next video, uh, the next part of the series, part two, uh, we will continue on with making our CAPTCHA. So check out part two.